For section 5.6, we'll be going over finding missing angles in a quadrilateral. Um, quadrilaterals have basically two triangles stuck together. Because of that, the all four angles will add up not to 180, but to 360. So when I look at what is given, I have a question mark and a 136. Angle E and angle G are the same size. So I will say that the question mark equals 136. For question W, so angle W and angle V, these are different sized angles. So I'm going to say that they add up, not to a full 360, but I only have two of the angles, so I'm going to say they equal 180 for a parallelogram, specifically. Minus the 75, that gives us a 5, a 0, and a 1. Question two, I am given angle L and M. They're different sizes. So I'm going to say that 9x plus four plus 140 should equal 180. 9x plus 4 and 144, 140 make 144, minus 144, and then divide. They only want us to solve for x. Each figure is a parallelogram. So I found x. This is solved for. If I really wanted to, I could plug it in. And I will get that 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 4 is 40. So this would be a 40 degree angle. If it asked me to, but I don't need to because it doesn't. So next one. I have a W and angle Y. They are the same size angles. So I'm going to say that 2X plus 118 equals 118. Huh. Weird, okay. So then I minus, minus 2X equals zero. And when you divide by 2, the zero is just going to stay a zero. Example 3. Find the measurement of angle B. I am given D and B. They are the same size. I set them equal. I am going to minus the 7x. That gives us negative 2x plus 15 equals negative 7 minus the 15. Negative 2x equals 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Negative 22. Divide x is an 11. They want me to find angle B. Angle B is here. 7 times 11 minus 7. 77 minus 7 is 70. I 
I'm given C and B. They are different sizes. So I'm going to say 11x minus 11 plus 6x plus 4 is 180. Together, 11 plus 6 is 17. Negative 11 plus 4. I use the same um, signs. So if I'm entering it in, I would have kept positive 11, positive 6 makes my 17x. Negative 11, positive 4 is a minus 7. Then once I start moving to the other side, that's when I switch my signs. And then divide by the 17. 187 divided by 17 is 11. It wants me to find angle E. That's interesting. Angle E isn't even there. But I know that angle E should match the angle that's the same size. So if I plug in an 11 here, 11 times 11, that's a lot of 11s, makes a 110. That means this angle will also be 110. So if I had plugged in here, 6 times 11 plus 4, that gives us a 70. This D would also be 70. What if we are given a rhombus? Given the rhombus with measurement CAB, CAB equal to 31, find the measure of angle CDA. Oh, it's already written down here. C D a. Okay, well, let's try and match. I have alternating interior, so this would also be a 31. A rhombus has, um, these angles will be bisected, which means this will also be 31 and 31. From 5.4, I know a triangle. Is 180 degrees, so I'm going to minus the 31 twice to see what this angle is right here. 118. If this is a 118, then D is also a 118. Let's try the next one. CAB is 34. Then I can try and find this missing angle by saying 180 for the triangle, minus 34, minus 34. 180 minus 34 minus 34 is 112. If B is 112, then D is also 112. Question five. We are given a quadrilateral. There is no pattern. These do not have a pattern, so I'm going to have to use 360 degrees instead of 180. Um, I'm going to add all of them up, so 16x minus 3 plus 4x plus 
plus 21x plus 94 plus 84 equals 360. I'm going to add like terms. Use my calculator, 16 and a positive 21. Negative 3, I leave the symbols the same, plus 94, plus 84, positive 175. Now that I have them combined, um, 360 minus 175, divide by 37, X is a 5. They want me to find what angle Q is. Q is right here. 21 times 5 would make 105. For my final answer. I have another quadrilateral. If you want to shorthand this, you do not have to write all of it out. You could combine from the image. So if I combine from the image, I would type um, 13 plus 23. They're both positive values and they both have X on them. Then I would enter in seven, a positive seven, um, negative 3, a positive 96, and a positive 80. From combining like terms, I now will minus the 180, Three sixty minus one eighty is one eighty. Then I divide by thirty six. We get a five. We then are asked to find angle W. It's right here. Thirteen times five plus seven. Thirteen plug in my five plus seven. 72 degrees for the missing angle. We now have an isosceles trapezoid. We are given V and U. We are only given two, so we're given half. It's not a full 360. Together, different sized angles. I'm going to say 6x plus 27 plus 16x minus 23 is 180. Uh, 6 and 16 can be placed together because they have the x values. Negative, or sorry, positive 27 minus 23. I'm not changing signs, I'm just combining. Now I'm going to start changing signs. I'm going to minus the 4. And then I will divide by the 22. I'm getting 8. What does it want us to find? Find the measure of V. So I would have 6 times 8 plus 27. 6 times 8 plus 27, 75. I have matching angles. They're the same size. And I only have two of them, right? I only have half, so 360 will actually be 180 when I cut it in half. 
Oh, I lied. We're not even gonna use 180. They're the same size. Same size is equal. We then minus the 9x. 9, 10, 11, that makes 2x's. Minus the 3. That makes a 12. And then divide. Mm, divide by 2. And x is 6. What is angle E? Angle E is right here. 11 times plug in plus 3. 11, 11 times 6 plus 3 is 69 degrees. So as you do your assignment, make sure you're asking yourself, do they want me to find X or do they want me to find an angle?